mammals are most evolved and the dominant group of organisms on the planet. Approximately 220 million years ago, that is 22 crores years ago, when dinosaurs were evolving, we get first glimpse of mammalian ancestor. The mammals could not diversify much because of the pressure of the dominant reptiles that is dinosaurs. Today we get three groups of mammals. The placental mammals that is the mammals with the uterus and nurture young ones in their uterus for longer time and give birth directly. Then marsupials the pouch mammals and then the eggling mammals. Amongst these, the eggling mammals are the oldest one. They show more resemblance to the reptiles. So in mid Cretaceous period, the placental and pouch mammals evolved. The eggling mammals evolved much before that. It is interesting to note that the birds lie between reptiles and mammals, but we share our ancestry with the reptiles. So here is the book that tells us about the rise of the mammals by Michael Benton. Rise of the Mammals The story of mammal families from their origins to the dawn to the age of the man. Michael Benton, PhD. You can see a dolphin, kangaroo and some feline carnivore ancestor. Let's go through the book. It is a Eagle edition published by Quantum Books in England in 1998. So let's go through the contents. Introduction Chapter 1 is From Reptile to Mammal, Chapter 2 Into the Light, Chapter 3 The Turning Point, Chapter 4 The Island Continents, Chapter 5 The Age of the Ungulates, Chapter 6 The Ice Ages, then Glossary, Understanding Fossil Names, Index, and Credits. You see the major chapters you get to see subtopics under it. So this is the first illustration you will get in appeared in 1668 about the uh, evolution. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, George Cuvier of France, the first well-known anatomist. This is the time scale. from reptile to mammals you can see the text is organized in two columns with the right side alignment and there's a separating line in between there are photographs of uh, fossils scattered throughout the book the size of the photograph varies some are small some are big but all the photographs are supplemented with the footnote A geological time scale illustrated nicely like this. Pelicosaur, supposedly the first reptilian mammal, or we should say mammal like reptile. How jaws and ears evolved illustrated nicely. This is the size of the pelicosaur compared to the present human being so how did the skull evolve right from the primitive ancestor to the modern day this is how we can see the reptiles dominated the planet and did not allow mammals to evolve further and during that time you can see the size of the earlier mammals they are rat sized creature as you can see there is a shoe of a present day human being over here this is how world looked like during that time scientists searching the fossils into the light then diversification of the mammals specialization of mammals 
then during middle eocene how mammals were evolving you can see different varieties of mammals and their comparative sizes as compared to the human being this is how the world looked like then we come to the feline uh, okay evolution of the cat family we know all the famous smilodon the saber tooth tiger then present day panthera genus the flying mammals the bats how did they evolve from a pterosaur that is a flying reptile it talks about asia in oligocene epoch you can see about the indricotherium the large mammal as compared to the human being over here earlier rhinos then the marine mammals the island continent that is how australia and nearby islands got their specialist pouch mammals then the evolution of horse age of ungulates how antlers evolved these are all based on the uh, fossils recovered in the different parts of the world evolution of a uh, elephant then appears the first humanoid proconsul the ice age the ice age mammals in europe evolution of elephant you can see how uh, proboscis and tusk develop so next you come to a glossary the technical terms explained then uh, different names of the fossils are explained over here and it's in important how to pronounce them so like when you say dimetrodon how to pronounce it it is uh, explained over here when it was discovered and what are the basic characteristics then index and the credits so this is amazing book to understand how mammals evolved from reptiles